Hey everyone, so as you could see, I am on a roll with making videos. I had three videos planned today. Um, it was like my welcoming video, like hey I'm back. And then I did like a foundation update. And now I am doing kind of an unboxing from ColourPop. I did open it so I could take out like the plastic, like this foamy stuff on it. It's gonna be like uh, an unboxing from ColourPop from some stuff that I did purchase when they were having 20% off like their website. And then I wanna share you share with you my honest opinion about color pop so this is like an unboxing slash like review Wednesday kind of yeah. so I'm gonna open it so you guys don't see where I live so this is the box I do love like the inside of the boxes because it's like a plain old white box you know but when you open it, it's like fr bright and fun and colory colory colorful so that's why I do love their boxes I try I kind of like I'm weird I kind of keep their boxes I don't know why but I really do like their boxes so I got two um one's a Christmas gift and one's a birthday gift in here so if you're watching mommy and Brianna please don't watch right now um so this is actually so I'm gonna show those two first I'm not gonna open them only because they are gifts and I don't want to like you know contaminate them or anything I'm not dirty or anything but I just feel like they should really touch it first I don't want to like swatch on camera because it's not mine it's I'm giving it to it as a gift if that makes any sense so this well I can actually swatch this one but I'm not going to um because it is it is a um a gift so this is their super sh super shock eyeshadows I do have a lot of their eyeshadows and I do love them the only thing is you do have to use your fingers you could use brushes like I would recommend to use like Morphe like synthetic brushes or the Luxie brushes like these are synthetic and I love Luxie brushes they're amazing this is my only one I do want to buy more but when the time comes I will definitely buy some more Luxie brushes I do love that they're pink and they're synthetic um so I do use like like a synthetic brush to like blend but like if I want to do anything on the lid or whatnot I do use my fingers because I feel like it's the best application for that. So I got this one here and as you can see it's a nice purple color and it has beautiful shimmers. It's like a blue and it has like purple shimmers. I'll like unbox it for you guys but I'm not going to touch it. <laughs> So this one's called Dance Party and it is a gorgeous, like, I feel like the camera's not even doing justice for you guys, but it's a gorgeous color. It's a gorgeous color. It's called Dance Party. So if you really kind of like, it's like a party kind of. So I really do hope my mommy likes this one because um, oh, it's gorgeous and I even want it. Let's be real. And then I purchased, so all this was, I think, during like Black Friday sale. And this one is Chiro, and this is a super shock. So this one's a highlighter. I have a lot of their highlighters. I do love their highlighters, and it looks like this. And they have, I think it's like three highlighters in one. I believe like Wisp is in here. I don't know the other ones. But I do believe I think Wisp is in here, but don't like quote me on that. And you just mix it together, and that's it swatched look how pretty that is and I do love them because they're so creamy and for someone who has textured like dry skin oh, it's amazing I love it and then this is um, a brow product I'll show you mine the, and the, her my friend Brianna she's a redhead and I got Auburn for her I hope she she never like draws in her eyebrows so I hope she likes it and she like uses it but the one I get is and I have it in my eyebrows now is Begging Brunette so I got the pencil and I got the um, what's it called it's like not a pomade it's like the eyebrow gel as well and I do love like the gels I love the gels I love the pencils like for how much they cost, they're so in inexpensive and I feel like they're just as great as any other brow products out there. And then I got two more things and or three more things. I was I'm really looking forward to trying this. I feel like I should have bought another one of these instead of another eyeshadow. Uh, but it is what it is. If I like it, I like it. If not, that's okay. So I got two more eyeshadows. Can you see my like Mercury Christmas trees? They're gorgeous. So this one's called Tea Party. So pretty. Oh, camera, please focus. There we go. So this is Tea Party, and it's pink, 
but it looks like it has it has like a like purple glitter in it can you see that it's so pretty I think I'm gonna wear this tomorrow so that's very pretty Paco and this one's called eye candy and this is like a lilac color um, I don't know, it's a very soft lavender color and that's it swatched do you hear Paco you see it so that's they're very pretty um, I do like I do love getting these as gifts so if I know someone's birthday is coming or like party or whatnot I do like to give these as gifts because they're so nice and it gives you know someone a chance to actually try color pop color pop because not everyone you know is like oh what's color pop it's like why is color pop the best products ever and the last thing is the ultra satin lip now I do have a quite a bit I'll show you guys in a moment quite a bit of their ultra matte um, lipsticks and this is an ultra ooh, this is the private I don't remember what color I got, but it was the purple. And this is the Ultra Satin Lip like Stick. And I'll be honest, I love the pigmented, like how pigmented they are and all the other great stuff about Color Pops. But I feel like they do dry my lips quite a bit. And that's one thing I'm just like, okay, so I do use like their lip liners. The lip liners are phenomenal. Um, I feel like I said that word, word. Uh, but they're so nice and great and they're like five bucks that's another thing why I like them too so this one's called so way so wavy I'm sorry and I do rubber shop swatching well, that's it swatched so now I want to get out some of my collection so I could really like kind of go all go over it all for you okay so I I kind of pretty much went over it with the eyeshadows. I do really honestly love the eyeshadows. Um, even though you do have, you, you use your fingers most of the part, but other than like, if you want to use like a brush, just use a synthetic, you just need to use a synthetic brush. I love them. I always recommend them to people. I say that it's amazing. And I have a huge, not a huge collection, but it's a pretty big collection of their eyeshadows because I just honestly do love them. The one that I just got from my hand is called Kush. I don't know if they're available if it's available or not anymore, um, but it's this color here. It's on the very bottom. This one's called Kush. I honestly do love the eyeshadows, and if you're looking to kind of build a collection, I would definitely suggest building it with ColourPop first, and then you can kind of branch off with other products if you kind of like are on a budget. So that's this one. I do love the eyeshadows. That's just overall all my eyeshadows from ColourPop. Now with the blushes, this is this is I just picked up any one. I do have a couple blushes, and this one is called Trickery, and this one is a gorgeous color. As you can see, I did make a dent in it. I do honestly love their blushes. However, I have noticed that I was using the Real Techniques um, synthetic brush to do it, but if you kind of look closely. I don't know I think the oils from my face or from the foundation kind of made it a little bit harder to pick up color but I kind of fixed it a little bit it's kind of hard to explain you know what I'm talking about though when you have like a powder blush and you have like oils and you kind of like double dip like your face and you put it back in and it like it kind of makes it solid and you can't pick up any more product that's what kind of happened with my blush and I, I just mad randomly picked this one and this is the one I completely forgot about it and that happened to this one so I do love it it still works pays off quite nicely but I do kind of have to like kind of dig in it a little bit if that makes any sense there is another one that I have I haven't even used I should actually start using it but this one here and this is just as great this one's called Pegacorn I haven't used it I'm pretty sure it's just as great as trickery now they're bronzers I honestly love the bronzers however that's one that I got is called Boy Bon Voyage Bon Voyage or whatnot I can't say that word right now I'm sorry um 
ah, uh, it's too light for me. And that's, um, ColourPop is only online, so you really don't know what you're getting. Um, it's too light for me. Um, I swatched it right, right there. It's just a little too light for me, so it looks muddy on me. I have another one, I think it's called Poolside, and that one's great. Um, I feel like if you're very fair, this one would be great. I'm not that fair. So I love the bronzers, and the bronzers, I actually use two of them. Two brushes. So I either use the Real Techniques Sculpting Brush, or I use the Real Techniques expert face brush. I like to use them really for my forehead because my forehead's not that um, big. So when I use uh, like a bigger brush, like I was using this one for a while. This is a Sigma F20. It was just covering too much in my face. So I actually did switch to these two and I would like alternate. So these are great if you don't have like a really big forehead. I do like to use this one like for the side to really put the blush, uh, not the blush, the bronzer on that way. Um, but I love the bronzers. Just be a little, like, <sighs> it's kind of hard picking bronzers because, you know, again, it's online and I did pick one and it's too light for me. But it is what it is. I can use it as a contour. It's no big deal. You can find other re other uses for it. Like, you can use this as an eyeshadow. I have a lot. I also have, like, gel eyeliners. I do love the gel eyeliners. I forgot to order gel eyeliner. Um, but I do have a lot of their, like, I forgot what these are called. The basics. Now. They're matte. Is it matte? It has a shine to it. I love how I'm picking purple. It has a shine to it. See? That's a matte, you guys. A matte should be matte, not shiny. So you would need, honestly, like the ultra matte. The ultra matte. Um, if you wanted like a real matte um, lipstick. I love their lippy sticks. They're nice and hydrating. Um... This is a cream one here. The one that I swatched was called Plastics. I believe a lot of them that I got were from like kits. And I don't, I don't buy kits anymore only because if you guys want to use them, it's like unavailable. So that's why I don't buy kits anymore. I just buy anything that's available, like, you know, just regular on their website stuff now. Um, this one's called Night Owl and this is a cream. So it's kind of like a little bit similar to the matte. It's very shiny. Now the lip liners are just as, as great. They're very creamy. I do recommend to buy the lip liner matte, like coordinating with the ultra matte lipstick or the lippy sticks. Um, this one is called Punky. Oh my god, what happened? That's never happened before. So this one's called Punky and they're so nice. I love using that one for like a hot pink lip. The lip liners, I would just suggest you buy the matching lip liner, that, like the coordinating lip liner for like the lipsticks, the lippy sticks, the lip satin, to really, because you know they are pretty universal, so like this one will go with like probably two other like lipsticks or whatnot, or you know, they're so on and so forth. I do recommend buying them, and they're only five bucks, and you get like a five dollar off coupon, so it's like kind of free, so I, I do recommend to get that. And the last but not least is, well, yeah, pretty much last. Ultra matte lipsticks or whatnot. Again, I do like them. However, if I'm working an eight hour day, I do not recommend using these only because I don't know what it is, what I'm doing wrong. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong or whatnot, but when I reapply, it's not nice. Like it doesn't go on smoothly like it once was or what not. So this one is actually called be dazzled. So I actually picked this one's like you we could swatch the two together. Um but there's something about it that does not like look flattering when I like reapply it. I do a rubbish job swatching. Um so that's how it looks. It's still wet, so it will dry matte. But I only like to wear them for a four and a half hour day because I find it really hard for them to come off. I use, um, I use actually this to take them off. So what I do is I actually put on lip balm or whatnot. And this one is actually called, called Smith's, um, uh, Lip Balm and uh, Mint Rose. I put this all over my lips before I want to take it off. Let it sit for like a minute or two and then it's kind of like wipe it off with like a makeup wipe or a baby wipe. And I found that works really good for me. Um, 
And if you have any other ways to let me know, but I don't know what I'm doing wrong or whatnot, that it's just not applying nicely and it's just not, you know, it's really hard for me to take off and it stains my lip, which I honestly don't mind the lip stain because then as you go back to work and then it's just like, it looks good. I don't have to really touch it up or anything. Um, but yeah, eyeliners are amazing. I actually think I have... Don't. I thought I had like I even have like the eyeliner I have like a loads of like the actual eyeliners and these are really nice as well I think they're like six bucks and like you can't beat six bucks compared to like max fluid line that's what 20 or more you know so that's why I do really love Colourpop because they're very inexpensive and this is actually one of their gel liners and this one is called frill this one's from last year but it goes on so how come i never use this it's like a periwinkle color it's this one right here right there um so overall i love color pop i i keep buying from them because their products are great they do if you follow them on Snapchat or like on social media, it's you know you get like little special things here and there, and whatnot. Brow products, I mean, like overall everything is amazing. I really, 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 really wish that they would come out with a brush line, um, only because sorry, they're like cutting up. Only because you know you could use their brushes for their products. So hopefully in 2017 they do come out with a brush line, and I am totally gonna buy the brush line if they do come out with a brush line. Bye now.